we have real numbers with ABCD with some 20 and the pairwise sums are yeah, 150 and you want to determine the values. So first I'm just going to translate um, this to the sum of squares information. A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared is equal to 20 plus 2 times 150, which is equal to 320. Um, wait, is it? No, 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 no. Sorry, that's wrong. I'm stupid. Uh, 20 squared minus 2 times 150 is what I meant to say. That's, that's very different. Uh, so this guy is A plus B. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so this is 100, which, okay, uh, now you just use Kochi squares because a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is at least a plus b plus c plus d all squared. Uh, so, hence, a equals b equals c equals d equals 5. The end. <laughs> Alright, cool. One less problem to vote for. <laughs> so for for the people that are watching this on YouTube, um, who want to have actual educational value, um, the reason it has to be this way is because if if the solution is not just the dumb inequality like this, then the solution will be in a curve, and it's like kind of hard to describe curves. Like basically, when I intersect two equations in four dimensional space, normally you expect like a dimension two surface, and that would be a really strange answer. Um, so, yeah, it kind of has to be like this. Okay, cool. All right, let's get back to the